I'm Johnny Masker and welcome to the Johnny Masker Show. On tonight's show, Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. This is going to be a quick show. I just thought I'll make this so you can hear my thoughts about this forthcoming debate. So the debate is at 9 p.m. EST, Eastern Time, which is basically New York time. And LA is three hours behind that. So in LA, it's going to start at 6 p.m. In New York is going to start at 9 p.m. In Tokyo... It's going to start at 10 a.m. So I might actually catch it because that's where I'm based. So I just cannot fucking wait for this debate. I cannot wait because Joe Biden should not be running for president of the United States. The man has mental deficiencies. He borderline has Alzheimer's. He can't remember what he's saying, what he's doing or where he is half the time. And somehow he's been wheeled out by the Democrats because he seems to represent this symbol of kind of centrism. He's kind of a friendly old man. He's not too radical, but he's still a liberal. But actually, he's going to die before the presidency can be completed if he gets into power. And the presidency will be taken over by the extremely radical far leftist Kamala Harris, who basically is a decrepit sea hag. And we don't want that. So this guy is just a president by proxy and then he'll be taken over by the radical members of the leftist party, which would spare, spell doom and the end of America for Americans. And it would be the end of the world for the people at large because America sets the pace for the global tempo of economics and culture. So look, quote me on this, put me on record saying Donald Trump is going to fucking destroy destroy Joe Biden tonight. He's going to destroy him. People cuss Donald Trump all the time, but he's my hero. I'll tell you why he's my hero, because he's constantly under attack. People constantly trying to subvert him. People constantly trying to undermine him. People telling him he's stupid. People telling him he's an idiot. And people telling him from the start until the present day and until the day he dies, they will still be saying that you can't do it. You're not good enough. And you know what? He fucking did it. Against all the odds, he became the most powerful man in the world. There is no way you can do that by fluke or by chance. Some of the most intelligent people, the wealthiest people ever have tried to become the leader of the free world. And they fail miserably, absolutely miserably, regardless of how many hundreds of millions of dollars they throw at their campaign. Donald Trump, on the other hand, he fucking did it. So I just think he's an inspiration because people tell me all the time, you can't do this, you can't do that. But actually, Donald Trump shows you that you can do anything. And for that reason, the guy's not as incapable as... The mainstream media would have you think now that guy gets up in front of crowds of tens of thousands of people and hundreds of millions if not billions watching at home do you ever see his lip quiver do you ever see his hands shake no you don't he's comfortable up there like a duck on water he's fine and that is admirable all these detractors cussing Trump, put them on a stage and watch them fucking bottle it. So Trump, he thrives on the stage. He's like a game show host. He's like a comedian. And that's why he won the presidency in part, because it's like a big fucking game show. It's like entertainment. And he just gets that. Now, for all these reasons... He's going to murder Joe Biden because Joe Biden is not like that. He is not very witty. As I said, he doesn't know where he is or what time of day it is. So how the fuck is he going to think on his feet quick enough to have a good debate with Donald Trump? I love it. I love it. I love it. I put my reputation on this. Donald Trump is going to smash it. Don't listen to what the media say after it because they're going to try and spin it. Just watch it for yourselves and watch Donald Trump rape Joe Biden. He's going to absolutely rape him. I guarantee it. Now, it's funny because this whole tax return thing came out about Donald Trump and they always do this. When a, an election is coming up, they'll keep some aces in the hole ready to kind of whip them out just before the election to try to derail the election campaign, right? So they obviously kept a few little 
silver bullets in the chamber, one of which is Donald Trump's tax returns. So just before the debate, Biden's team thought, yeah, let's release this bad news about Trump now to make him look bad. And then Biden will have something to chew on come debate time. Wrong. You really fucked that up. If you guys knew anything about strategy, since the leftists are so in bed with China, they would have read Sun Tzu's Art of War. And what they would have learned from that is if you have this silver bullet that's going to destroy your opponent. Don't fucking reveal your hand too early. What they should what they should have done is they should have let Biden go into that debate and during the debate Biden releases Donald Trump's tax returns. He has him on the spot and he says, "Donald, I've got something here. The New York Times have done an investigation on you and tonight they actually gave me your your tax returns, which um, are rather long awaited. People have been speculating and asking for these for a long time. And I actually have them here right now. And these are your tax returns. And he could read them out there and then put Trump on the spot. Trump would know what the fuck to say. But they released this information early thinking it's going to fuck up Donald Trump. Actually, they've just given him time to prepare. And he's going to throw it right back in Biden's face. Donald Trump works in real estate people in real estate always take on massive debt if you know anything about economics that's not a big deal at all and you can write that shit off your taxes no big deal as for biden well suddenly he's gone from a, a fortune of ninety thousand dollars in 2006 to about 11 million and guess what? He's all done it through politics. Those are the shadiest people. Donald Trump, on the other hand, he earned his fortune before he got into politics, which is why some people like him, because he's not nearly as corrupt as those motherfuckers. Donald Trump is going to lay into Joe Biden's nepotism with his son, Hunter Biden. The dodgy Ukraine deal. Biden in some weird political position in Ukraine when he doesn't speak the language and knows nothing about the job. The company he's working for is being investigated by a chief Ukrainian prosecutor for corruption. And Joe Biden is boasting on national television that he withheld some kind of state aid to this country in order to get the prosecutor fired who was investigating the company that his son was working for and profiteering from. Also, they're going to look into the dodgy Chinese deals that Biden, Hunter and Senior were putting together. Trump is going to be all over this. So they've actually done him a favor by mentioning the tax returns. Joe Biden is a stuttering old Alzheimer riddled fool and Trump is going to eat him for breakfast. I cannot wait to see Trump bully the fuck out of Joe Biden. It's going to be like a Mike Tyson in his prime battering around an old aging boxer. I cannot wait for it. And despite the mainstream media, the left mainstream media, the leftist media, desperately trying to will their fantasies into reality, cussing Donald Trump on a daily basis, saying how Biden's actually not so bad a guy, not detailing any of Biden's corruption at all, and just weaving this narrative that he's such a great guy. It's all going to fall apart like a fucking sandcastle under a tsunami when the action starts. Lights, camera, action. Donald Trump in his fucking element, alpha male, swinging his fucking bollocks around, slapping him in Joe Biden's wrinkled old scrotum-like face. I cannot wait. That will be a massive slice of reality. Reality is going to hit all leftists in the face like a massive wet fish. All that narrative nonsense created by the leftist media will just dissolve and you will have a hearty dose of reality tonight. I cannot wait. It's going to be 90 minutes, unbroken debate, Biden and Trump. They should have just kept Biden in the basement. He actually had a chance there. That would be a really interesting strategy. Just do nothing at all and let Donald Trump shoot himself in the foot. But no, they, they're actually going to let him do a debate. There are going to be three debates. I don't think it's even going to go that far. I think they're going to have to call time on it after the second one because Biden's going to get such a beating. This is going to be delicious. Make sure you will tune in for what is going to be one of the most entertaining events of the year or perhaps the decade. And I tell you what, mate, you better be back for the next video because otherwise I'll be coming around your house. Make sure to like and subscribe because that is what all those other cunts tell you to do. Layers.